Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna start a series of videos about a cleaning system that has literally changed my life over the last couple of months. Like a lot of people over quarantine and all of that, I also picked up kind of a new hobby or just something to maybe occupy my mind a little bit more, something to keep me busy, uh, something to positive to think about. And after a long time of struggling with this house so much, <laughs> And I know I've talked about it on here a lot over the years, but I started following the Fly Lady method or system of cleaning. Now, if you're not familiar with the Fly Lady system, there are literally thousands and thousands of videos on YouTube about Fly Lady, and I'm gonna try and make some. Uh, consider today the first one. I have no idea, well, I have lots of video ideas, but I don't know in what order they're gonna come, but I have a lot to say and I hope to bring some more videos uh, back to my channel about how this system works and how I make it work for me. I've been doing the Fly Lady system since, uh, I wanna say middle of March, and here we are the middle of July when I'm recording this, and it has changed everything because I think the main thing is that it has given me structure in how I take care of this house. If you're new here, my house is over 3,500 square feet, and We've been here 10 years last month, and it has owned me. I mean, most people own their house, but this house owns me. Not financially, maybe a little bit, but mostly just the upkeep, especially with having kids. It has been brutal trying to keep this clean. And I am not a neat freak. I just like things to look presentable if someone shows up <laughs> one day. And this has helped me so much. I'm gonna link all of Fly Lady's info in the description box, her website. And today I'm gonna to be talking about why I chose the Fly Lady system to help me keep up with my house. Now the Fly Lady has a, a, a system where she has zones in your home. And there's, I believe, I think it's five, yes, five zones. And I'm gonna have to look at my book here because I, it's still kind of new and I can't remember exactly what each zone is. Okay, yes, five zones. And I'm gonna be showing you my control journal in another video. But she has the different zones. Zone one is the first full week of the month and that is your entryway, front porch, Basically anything like when you walk in the door, what do you see? And for me, that is porch, uh, entryway, living room, dining room, cause it kind of, it's right there off the entry and my guest bathroom. And so the first week of the month, I deep clean that. I spend 15 minutes a day on all of those sections combined. And that's really it. It's just 15 minutes a day of zone cleaning. The second zone, zone two, is the second full week of the month and it is the kitchen and pantry. That is my least favorite because I hate cleaning out the fridge. <laughs> I hate it. But when you do it once a month, it's really not that bad. Zone three is your main bathroom and an extra bedroom. For me, what I do is I do our the boys' bathroom upstairs because we actually all use that one. We all use the shower in there. And my additional bedroom is our guest bedroom downstairs. So we have zone four, which is your master bedroom, your master bathroom, and your closet. Zone five is living room, den, family room, kind of main living areas. And for me, that is the great room that I am looking at right here. And so basically the, the zone one is the first week of the month, zone two is the second week of the month, third, fourth, fifth, you get the idea. Sometimes there's a little bit of zone five and zone one in the same day and that's just how it goes. Flyley also has the 31 baby steps and if you can stay tuned, I am going to try, I'm gonna to try to do a video about each one of the 31 baby steps. That is a big, like, that's a lot of filming and a lot of editing. A lot of very short videos. So if you would like to see that, leave a comment just so I know, because I think that would be helpful. Uh, there are some YouTubers who have done videos like that and I think they're helpful, but obviously these will be my own. 
And so in each day in your zone, you spend 15 minutes deep cleaning. You do a two minute, what she calls hot spot. And that's just like, for me, it's this, it's this right here. It's actually okay right now, but that's, uh, I think some people call it uh, like a drop zone. Like when you drop something, it's usually right there. Uh, or like my stairs are a hot spot. The schoolroom table is a hot spot. You take care of one of those just two minutes every single day. And all of this is well and good if I follow it on my own. But let me tell you, the, the best thing happened when I started watching her videos every single day. Fly Lady is a lady named Marla. She lives in uh, North Carolina and she's kind of your Southern mama hug for the day. Uh, she gets on Facebook Live at 11 a.m. every single day. I don't know, I never watch her on the weekends. I don't, I don't do it on the weekends. Uh, but she comes on every morning at 11 a.m. and she plays music. She has certain songs that were written for her and uh, she plays them and then tells us what to clean. And I don't know, it is the most fun. I just put, I just put her on Facebook live, uh, on my phone, put in my earbuds and stick her in my pocket. <laughs> and she'll say, okay, let's round up all of our trash. Let's go clean off a hotspot. Let's do this. And she plays music kind of as a timer so that you stay on track. And it's kind of fun because there's usually upwards of 300 people on with her at 11 AM every day. And it's fun because they are hopefully <laughs> also doing all the cleaning. She also comes on at three o'clock. This is all Eastern time. She comes again. She comes on again at 3 p.m. Eastern for tea time. And that's just kind of when she talks about anything, everything. Uh, she talks about politics sometimes. She talks about nutrition. Don't get me started because I disagree with a lot of her stuff. But uh, she'll talk about, uh, you know, it, the the whole the whole process of taking ownership of your home actually enjoying where you live um spending time with family she will sometimes do q and a's uh sometimes she will just talk about a topic and sometimes she'll just sit on the back porch and talk about what she did that week i don't always tune in for tea time because i'm usually busy doing other things I'm usually with the kids or something but that accountability of 11 o'clock fly lady's gonna come on that is my i call that my zone cleaning time so even if she's saying let's clean out under our beds or let's do this that or the other sometimes i make my own list and i do what i want to do <laughs> while she is playing the music she also has a thing every monday called weekly home blessing and i'm gonna do a total video on that the weekly home blessing is when you split up these different uh, tasks. It's the same ones each weekly home blessing. And you give yourself 15 minutes to do each one of those things. So let me see if I can remember. It's uh, put your sheets in the washer, uh, go around and get up all the trash, like, like the trash bags and take them outside, um, uh, sweep, uh, you know, get, get your carpet sweep up, if you don't know, you don't know. Uh, but sweep or uh, vacuum, mop, dust, windows and doors. Is that it? <laughs> but she suggests that you take 15 minutes to do each one of those things. And once you've done that, you have... A okay, so maybe if you take 15 minutes, it'll take a little bit more. But it doesn't take 15 minutes to put your your sheets in the washer, for example, or even 15 minutes to gather up all the trash. It shouldn't anyway. Uh, but when you do weekly home blessing with her on Facebook Live, she actually gives you two to three minutes to do each one of those things. And for me, when I just pretty much just bless the downstairs, uh, that's what works for me. And my family knows at 11 a.m. every Monday, I've got my earbuds in and I am like mopping and doing all this stuff. So, that's that's what I think has found that's worked really well for me is going along with her um, following the program. There is also a morning routine and an evening routine. And I made some videos back in 2015, I want to say, with my morning routine and my evening routine. I used to do routine videos all 
the time. I used to do cleaning videos all the time and I'd like to get back into doing them, but gear them specifically toward Fly Lady. This system was kind of easy to get started with. Not all of it, but a lot of it was easy to get started with because one, I am a creature of habit. When I get into a habit, it's a habit. Some things are harder than others, but for the most part, my routines, I thrive on those. Uh, another thing is that, like, for example, when you get up, you make your bed, um, you dress to shoes, we'll talk about all of that later, but you come downstairs, you take care of your dishes. The dishes that you washed the night before, you, un you, know, you unload the dishwasher. Uh, at night, you shine your sink and your countertops, you clean the kitchen every night. I've been doing that for years. So a lot of what she talks about, I've already been doing. So I've been able to kind of incorporate some new things into that to make this whole process work better for me. So that's gonna start off our very first video in the Fly Lady series. I did a video, uh, an update on my my Norwex and e-cloth, which was highly requested. And I did hint to Fly Lady in that video. And so I guess we're getting started now. I'm gonna do some more videos. Like I said, do one about my control journal, do one about the cleaning products that I use and how to make it, this work for me. And also how I adjust what she says to do, how I adjust it and make it work for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up and check out all the links that I'm gonna put in the description box below. I'm also going to leave channels of other YouTubers who do really, really, really good Fly Lady videos. Uh, two that come to mind immediately are Steph from The Secret Slob. I love her, I love her. And also Diane in Denmark, and uh, it's it's interesting getting getting two women of kind of different stages in life and different continents, <laughs> different countries, and how they make this system work for them. It doesn't matter where you live; you can do this. At least you can get started. So if you're new here, be sure to click that red subscribe button and share this video if you would like other people to see it. That sounded weird. But I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.